Okay, in our little chat today, we want to talk about money, colds and flu, and aging. Give a little example. Sweet thing was came by the house the other day, and she remember she teaches school, right, and was complaining of a sore throat, right, and sinus congestion, and she took equivalent to about four, maybe five grams of ascorbate, and probably fifteen thousand IU's of vitamin D3. Now about two hours later, when she got home, she called back, and it was all gone, right. Now, so what I want you to understand is how that can happen. Right? And then what impact that has, that little example can have on our entire economy and then how that relates to reversing, scientifically of course, all right, the aging of the cells. Now, first of all, remember, all right, we've mentioned this before, 90% of the doctor's visits and 90% of uh, absenteeism in work Right, is as a result of colds and flu, viruses, something the doctor can't do about. But everybody goes to the doctor and says, please give me an antibiotic. And the antibiotic won't do a thing for a virus, right? but he gives us what we want. Right? Now, that also accounts for about 80%, 80% of all money spent in the medical community something that science has already shown us, just like the little example I gave you earlier today, right, can, can be completely eliminated. Okay, now what happened in this particular example, we'll go with, uh, this comes from the uh, uh, Vitamin D Council. And remember the most, most glaring example there was uh, Dr. Connell. All right? And remember the Vitamin D Council started out as the 39 foremost vitamin D experts in North America. Right. He, his clinic or his ward in the hospital, he made it mandatory that everybody that was in there took 2,000 IUs of, uh, of uh, colocalciferol, all right, vitamin D3 every day, and nurses and everybody. Now they had a big, uh, uh, as it swept through the ward, everybody got this strain of flu that was going, except for them, not a single case. All right, so what they had done <clears throat> is they had gotten the levels all right, of the D in the system all right, and it was maintaining it. And so consequently what, what D does is the body converts it into uh, uh, calcitriol. And the calcitriol is what the body uses to repair the damage on the inside of the body, including the damage from cancer. Okay, so if we can assume with our bar graph here all right, that... Uh, uh, the, their scale was anywhere from 40 to 60, right, is a safe range for, for and that'd be 40 to 60 nanos per milliliter of vitamin D in the blood serum. Now, with our example with our school teacher, all right, let's say, and we pick school teacher because who gets exposed to more viruses than the school teacher? Children bring everything in the world, didn't they? Okay, now, let's say that in that safe range up until that day, that she'd been down around 40, all right? And remember, all right, that the crucial level is down here about 32. Now, when the body contracts a cold, all right, it loses about 50%, 50% of its ascorbate during the first 48 hours. Okay, so let's say if the ascorbate, all right, and the uh, D3, all right, because those are the things that work hand in glove, all right, that would then would have dropped her level down here to about 20, and colds occur between 18 and 22. Now, if she had kept on going down, all right, remember that cancer occurs at about 12, I mean, uh, uh, cardiovascular disease at 12 and cancer at about 5, okay? And so these things that we're talking about, particularly the ascorbate, and then when we, start, when we get back into the things that we talk about with uh, uh, with the correct essential oils. These are the two foremost things that make the body create the uh, uh, telomerase. And what telomerase does, this increase in telomerase increases the length of the telomeres. And when you increase the length of the telomeres on the DNA code, what do you do? You increase the youth expectancy, how long you're going to be young, and then consequently how long you're going to live. Okay. All right. So, bottom line, all right, is that by doing, if we can teach, all right, everybody, say, okay, one-third, we know that one-third of the small businesses in the United States are abandoning medical care. They can't afford it. All right, so if we can show them how to 
uh, instead of talking about medical care, start talking about health care. Now, if instead of paying $500 a month for your for the uh, medical care, how about 20 bucks, right? 20 bucks from the employee, 20 bucks from the employer, right? And then eliminate 80% of all of these expenses. And then that way you'll be able to have an insurance policy that gives them back money because they didn't get sick. Okay, the whole thing revolves around what? The immune system, all right, colds and flu, all right, the ascorbate, all right, and the vitamin D. I hope this wasn't too long. We'll pick up some more on it later.